Hi, I'm Steve Walker and I'd like to take you through a quick video of a little project that I put together, taking a form submission from Adobe Sign and taking the data out in real time and putting it into a Microsoft SharePoint online list. And we've also got a Power Automate flow applying some conditional logic in the background as well. So let's jump into it. What I've got is an Adobe Sign web form here and uh, there are 11 fields that are required to be filled. Let's take this URL and we'll fill out the form and talk about what happens to the submission once that's done. So I'm just going to fill in some details here. And I'm now going to go and sign the document. So if I click to sign at the bottom now, the web form has been submitted. Let's jump into Microsoft SharePoint now and have a look at the submission. So here is my SharePoint online list and I've got three submissions that I've done previously. Down at the bottom you can see in yellow that my form submission has now come through. And it takes just a second but it will go from yellow to green. While we're waiting for that to take place you can see that the data has been pulled from the form submission and has been added to the columns in this SharePoint online list. And the list item has now gone green. And you'll notice in our attachments column here, we do get the paperclip symbol. And the reason why is that the flow that I created that's underpinning this list actually is fetching the Adobe Sign signed PDF and adding it to this list item as an attachment. And that happens automatically. And you saw that took just a few seconds from after submission for that to actually take place. Let's have a look at the flow that's underpinning this. It is quite a simple one. There are five steps to this flow. When the item is created, of course, we are detecting that that has taken place. We're then reaching out to Adobe Sign and grabbing the signed PDF of whatever was submitted. We're then adding it as an attachment to that list item in SharePoint. And then finally, we're coloring the item in green. And just as a little bonus here, I've set my phone to vibrate to tell me on Microsoft Teams that a new submission has come through. So I'll just open up my Teams here. And you can see down at the bottom, sure enough, we've got Mr. Jason Bourne who entered in his details here. We've also got a link to the signed PDF as an attachment in the SharePoint list item. So all of this is possible using Adobe Sign's out-of-the-box connector for Microsoft SharePoint. That was the first step to pull the data from the agreement and automatically map it to this SharePoint list. On top of that, we have Microsoft Power Automate extracting that signed PDF and adding it as an attachment to the list item. But of course, using Adobe Sign for Microsoft Power Automate, there's a lot more that you can do, I'm sure you can appreciate. We can start to add some intelligence to this flow and start to be reactive to perhaps some of the data that was entered in. And if someone answered yes or no on a multiple choice question, we could potentially go down different branches and do different things with that SharePoint list item based on the answers that were given in Adobe Sign. So that was just a very quick video of a little project that I had built, putting together Adobe Sign with Microsoft Power Automate and a SharePoint 365 list. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.